In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package, Package Info Plus. As you can see here, this is the simple app we are going to build today, where we can get the app name, which is in this case, YouTube Package, Package Info Plus, the package name, com.example, and then again, the app name, also the version and the build number. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the package, Package Info Plus. All you have to do is copy this to your clipboard, then go to your pubspec.yaml file, and underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here, and then run pub get. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now concerning the layout, all I did was creating a simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold, here the app bar, and then the body is a column of a button, a size box, and a text. Now this button calls this function called get info pressed, and I also defined a nullable string called package info text. So if this string is null, as you can see here, so if it's not null, it's gonna show the size box and the text. Otherwise, if it's null, it's just gonna show nothing. So once we press on the elevated button, get info pressed. Here we can simply use the package info package. Of course, don't forget to import this into your Flutter app. And then you can use this package info equals await. Don't forget to make your function asynchronous since we have to await this. And then simply say package info dot from platform. You could also set mock initial values if you're writing tests for the app. Then we can simply use the package info variable and then for the app name, we can use this app name. Then we can also get the build signature, package name, version and build number. And all I did was then assign this to the previously mentioned variable up here. And I set the state so the UI gets refreshed. And when you click on this, it's gonna load all this information from either iOS or Android, depending on which device you're on, of course. This package also, of course, works with Linux, macOS, web and Windows. If you've made changes to the version string in your iOS app with pubspec.yaml, you have to clean the Xcode build folder. Let's have a look at how we can do this. So I'm gonna click on the iOS folder here and then open in Finder. And then I'm gonna open up the runner.xc workspace. And then once Xcode is open up, go to your menu up here where it says product and then simply press on here, clean build folder. Then it should work normally again. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.